Hello to all. Here to follow up, do a little part two on uh, my little Game Guardian video I posted on how to install it on an Android device. And would like to show y'all now on how to use Game Guardian on your Android device. So, remember before I showed you to install Virtual Expose and how to get uh, Game Guardian installed to it and then how to put your game onto it. So now I'm going to show you how to use Game Guardian. Alright, so let's open up Virtual Expose. Scroll up. And what I want to do is first open up Game Guardian. Press start. Now select a game that you want to uh, use Game Guardian with. Let's go to CSR2. Awesome game, been playing it for a while. Lots of fun, highly addictive. So, as it loads up, you can uh, get a little glimpse of the new update, 2.17. Thank you, Mr. Nitro, for uh, all of your hard work. It uh, comes without recognition. But anyway, here we are. My account's a little low on uh, cash, a little low on gold, so I'm going to show you some basic searches, and then we'll go into something a little bit more fun. But... I need a little bit more cash. I need a little bit more gold. I think I got to upgrade a couple cars and I might spend a couple hundred million. So, let's open up Game Guardian. It's going to bring you to this menu. You're going to want to select your process, which our process is CSR Racing. Boom. All right. Now that your little menu is uh, up at the top left hand corner, you can see CSR 2. It's uh, locked in and loaded, ready to go. So I'm going to back out of that. And if you've never spent any real money, or if you have spent real money on a game, it's still easily to find. But the first thing you want to do is come over here, go to your profile, look for your lifetime cash. Sometimes this is going to work, sometimes it's not. If you spent real money on a game, your lifetime cash total is going to be different. There's other ways to find it, but we're going to go over it this way first. So, I'm going to go to Game Guardian. We're going to press the little search button right there. And now, if you press this little eyeball at the bottom of the screen, Game Guardian will stay open, but you can go back to this menu. We're going to look up 949210. So, 949 two one zero three two three three two three we're going to press new search right here you always want to do a d word search sometimes it's going to pull up a whole lot more and you're going to have to search a couple more different times i'll explain that in another video later down the road but here's three search results i'm going to pull this one up i'm going to press go to what I am looking for is the number we searched, which is right there. That is your lifetime cash earned. This one here is your lifetime cash spent. So, this one looks like where I want to be because I'm seeing some other things and other numbers that should be right where they need to be. So, I'm going to go back to my search results, press the little button up top, we're going to go to the second one, just to check it out. Don't see what I'm looking for, there's a whole bunch of other hibbity hoopla that we don't need right here. So, I don't think that's one of them, we're going to select, unselect it also, let's go to this third and final one. Right here, I'm seeing stuff that I want to search for, but it's not in the right format, and y'all, you'll see why. Because 
this number looks good this number looks good this and this also look good but it's not what i'm looking for so let's just select these two press the trash can there's nothing to revert but we are going to press revert and remove all right now we're going to select this one that was our first first thing press it press go to all right this first number like i told you this is your lifetime cash earned. You can adjust this to make it a bigger number. Or what I like doing is this is your lifetime cash spent. Again, D word search. We're going to take, uh, I don't know, 400 million away. So let's put instead of an eight, a four. Press yes. You look at the top you can see the cash climbing i got 400 million dollars now so letting it load up now that that's been changed cash earned cash spent if you paid any real money in the game to buy cash it would be right there so Let's scroll down a little bit. These two. If you're in the right place, it's going to be that many. One, two, three, four. Four below your cash. Right here is your gold. Gold earned. Gold spent. I need a little bit more gold, so D word search. Let's uh, delete that two. Turn it into a one, press yes, and now I got a little bit more gold. Let's go back to it. All right, so you got gold earned, gold spent. If you paid any real money for gold, it's going to be right there. So that's your three. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Right below it. You got bronze keys earned, bronze keys spent, bronze keys bought. Let's go take a look at the bronze keys that I have. Just so you can see. Uh, 44,000. Uh, I'd like a little bit more than that. So, here's our original search for our cash. There's our cash spent. Scroll down. There's the gold. Scroll down. Here's your bronze keys. Let's uh let's just add to bronze keys earned. Uh let's make that number a nine. How about that? Sounds good. Good healthy bronze key number. All right. Doesn't look like they showed up, right? Back out. Go back to it. And there you go. Please remember, don't get all crazy with the numbers. Don't 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 give yourselves hundreds of thousands of them. Only take what you need. You start giving yourself too much, that's when you're going to get in trouble. And then you're going to have to contact me to learn you on how to fix that problem but anyway let's go back to game guardian all right so we got bronze keys earned spent bought right underneath bronze there's your silver let me delete some of this so we don't get confused silver keys earned silver keys spent silver keys bought right underneath that Gold keys earned, gold keys spent, gold keys bought. So, I really don't want to mess with too much of it, but uh, 500, so that's a little low on some gold keys, D word. Uh, let's turn this to a one. Here we go. Go back to the game, back out of the screen, go back to the screen,
got a couple more gold keys now. All right. There's a bunch that you can get to from just searching that original number that we searched right there. Uh, you, I just covered your keys, your cash. All right. So right here is the bottom of your, your keys earned or keys spent. All right. Now, I am rank 242. But I got, uh, I don't know, 90-something garages worth of cars, all this history of cash and gold and everything. I want to I want to be a higher ranked player. Scroll on down and you will see your rank. 1, 241. So I am looking for the number 241. Keep on scroll. Oop, there we go. Right there. That's your rank. Don't ever change that number. If you scroll up a little bit from your rank to right there. So there's your rank. One, two, three, four numbers up. There is your lifetime RP earned. Uh, let's just add a two. Now remember, with Game Guardian changing your rank, you can always go up. You can never go down. It's not uh, that easy to lower your rank with Game Guardian. I don't think it's even possible. So don't ever jump up like I just did by 20 million. Do, do a, a few hundred thousand at a time to where you slowly rank up. Don't, don't jump, make big jumps like that. Because you might accidentally jump like this. Only ranked up, what a hundred and something there. So I was expecting a little bit more. Let's 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 go crazy with it real quick. Uh, get out of here. Where y'all going? All right. Uh, let's add uh, do, 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 a one in front of it. Now this should really make it go up. So I'm rank three seventy seven to rank seventeen hundred. I should be around rank 1700 with the amount of cars and all the other crap that I got. Make it look like I've been playing forever. But. You get the drift. I don't like playing with the rank. There's, you know, you can mod all this other stuff in the game. But you need you need to have something to know where you're at. In the game. And I got plenty of profiles that I've modded everything you can mod to them. And all that other crap. And I got one that... I've never touched the rank. So gotta gotta keep a little morals. I always always call myself a, a modder with morals because I don't you know there's certain things you can mod and then it turns into just plain old hacking and I don't like the hacking. So kinda kinda be a respectable modder if you're gonna do it. And that's enough of my rant and raves. Hopefully y'all learned something. If uh, you want to learn something else, Game Guardian wise, let me know. I can uh, I can show you. Got no problem. Got plenty of free time on my hands. Let y'all check out some of these cars. The uh, update is on its way. It's pretty cool. I uh, I'm impressed, but I'm kind of left in lingo i want more i guess i guess that's all of us though we're, we're never satisfied but it's a pretty cool setup they got a lot of different stuff that you can do to the cars cool features uh looks like we only got about half of the update or half of this this elite tuners setup in the 2.17 update there's uh, lots more to be unlocked there is Tempest 4 in here for the people that are worried about Tempest 4 uh, that's where all of this elite stuff's coming from is they've kind of intertwined it 
with uh, with Tempest. So, but I'm just kind of wasting a little time showing y'all. This is still not unlocked yet. The full wraps, partial wraps on all the cars are. And they got some cool setups, man. I kind of like it. It's uh pretty cool. They there there's a lot to it, and I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot more to come with it. I don't understand why you'd add this big ass wing to a car, but. I'm going to do it anyway. If your car is that fast, you need that much wing, you need a different car. But anyway, oh yeah, I got to show y'all this. This is probably the uh, the highlight of uh, whoever designed this. They probably thought that this was the greatest thing ever. So you can change the color of your exhaust. That is uh, cute. So I'm going to leave y'all on that note. Hope y'all ain't got bored of me ranting and raving and talking. Hope y'all learned a little something. If y'all want to know anything else, let me know. I got no problem showing you. Hit me up. Talk to me. Send me a message. You know how to get me. I'll see you.